Hi there, my name is Kenzie. I'm offering a restorative yoga practice today. We're here in the beautiful Everyday Counts space. We're back to recording here after a long time without. Um, so thank you so much to the Everyday Counts program. Let's get started. With a restorative practice, we do need a few props. Perhaps two big bed pillows. Those could be couch cushions. They could be big blankets rolled up. Um, and then two smaller blankets. I've got fleece blankets here. They could be um, smaller, like a, a throw for a couch, a big beach blanket, a beach towel, whatever, whatever you've got. Extra warmth, this is a very mellow practice, so even another blanket for your body, a hat, some socks, a sweater. We're going to move into a few different supported shapes and relax deeply in them using body awareness and the breath, maybe some visualizations. So hopefully a very accessible practice for everyone. Let's begin by making ourselves comfortable. Comfort will be the main ingredient in this practice. So I will suggest perhaps one of those blankets for under your head, it could be a pillow. I thought I'd save the two pillows for under the knees. That gives our low back a chance to really soften and settle. And then perhaps that second blanket under the head or over your body, wherever you might want extra warmth and comfort. And so, just noticing where those pillows want to be to support your legs. And finding the comfortable support under your head. Again, you might need more elevation under the head. And maybe a blanket over the body. And making any adjustments here. The arms might want to be at your sides, palms up. And might want to rest on your belly or any other part of the body. And perhaps... Closing your eyes once you are comfortable. And breathing through your nose if you can. And noticing how it feels to be here. Are you comfortable? Can you make any tiny adjustments with your body to increase your comfort? Now, as we settle into some stillness, let's begin to notice the breath, like you've just discovered the experience of breathing. And maybe you can feel the breath moving in past your nostrils and moving back out. The sensation of air moving in past your nostrils. And back out. Let's notice that the in-breath feels a little cooler than the out-breath against your nostrils. Cool breath in. Warmer breath out. Let's begin to follow that breath a little deeper. And notice the cool breath in and the belly rises. 
warmer breath out and the belly falls. Soft belly receiving that cool in breath. And the soft belly releasing that warmer out breath. Soft, cool breath in. A softer, slower, warmer breath out. The inhale, cool and deep. The exhale, warmer and slower. Now let's stay with this experience of the breath for a few moments more. Soft and deep. Soft and slow. So here we are now. If it suits you, you might bring a hand to your belly and one hand to your chest or not. Feel the weight and the warmth of your own giving hand. And offer yourself some sweetness here, a, a kind word, a prayer, an affirmation, just for you. And now releasing those hands Maybe give your fingers a little wiggle, your toes a wiggle, or even a little turn of your wrists or ankles. Or maybe there's a yawn, a slow turn of your head, even a stretch of those arms, or maybe a wrap of those arms around yourself, whatever you need here. We can slowly roll over to one side, maybe bending those knees, supporting your head on your arm or a pillow. And then as you press that top hand into the floor, guiding yourself upright. Yeah. So here we are. You're always welcome to stay in any of these poses for as long as you want. If you want to lie down again, I'll just guide you into the next relaxation shape, uh, relaxation, whatever shape you're in. So 
Let's take the feet nice and wide, lean into the hands, bend the knees. We'll rock the knees from side to side a few times. I'm inviting some gentle movement between the shapes, um, but they're completely optional. Just a little bit of movement to prepare the body. Yeah. So we're letting gravity have our legs. We're leaning into those hands any way that it's comfortable. And then I will invite a gentle twist. And so perhaps the knees are at center. And as they fall to one side, we're lifting the opposite hand and slowly circling it around behind. Finding a little bit of a twist. And then slowly floating the arm back. Yeah. As the hand comes down, we can float those knees to center and then to the other side. And now we'll reach that opposite arm around. Finding a gentle rotation here. And slowly back. If you'd like, you can do this once more on either side, finding a little bit of rotation. Once more in the other direction, if you so choose. center. So now we're going to set up for a gentle supported twist and this will feel different for everyone. Um, so just trusting that we will find our way here. I'm going to give a few different options um, to support yourself and again everyone will be different in terms of their needs. So I'm taking those two pillows and stacking them lengthwise at one end of my mat. And then from here, just having these blankets within arm's reach. Um, my legs are out in the front. And as I lean into these pillows, I'm gonna bend the knees off to the other end of the mat. You'll notice they don't have to be perfectly stacked. They might be staggered a little bit. And then I might already know that I'm going to want at least one of those blankets in between the thighs. And I might not. This is where we could use this in a moment. I'm turning towards these pillows and bringing my hands to either side of them and then slowly lowering the chest onto the pillows I'm turning my head to face the same direction as my knees arms are moving out to the sides yeah so I'm settling on here and this is where some adjustments might come in we might need to adjust uh, the legs we might want more or less support between the thighs we also might find that there's a bit of compression to the abdomen, so we could move the pillows further away if we need some comfort there. Same with breast tissue, we can adjust where that pressure is through the pillows on the chest. We could even place an extra blanket under this armpit or under the head, so we've got a little more elevation. We can adjust that bottom hip. Uh, we're resting those forearms far enough away that hopefully they feel supported, but another option is to place a blanket under one of those forearms if it's floating over the mat. So this is where sometimes it's nice to have a few extra pillows or blankets. I'm going to invite you to settle in here and to keep making adjustments for your comfort. You might close your eyes. Beginning to breathe through your nose. And again, feeling your body kind of landing onto this soft support and continuing to make any of those adjustments. We are very good at being uncomfortable, but the practice of finding comfort and becoming comfortable, well, it's a practice. So you can keep kind of scanning the body and making adjustments, experimenting. Eventually, perhaps coming to stillness, but giving yourself permission to move at any time. Again, perhaps closing your eyes. 
And let's tune into the breath the same way we did before. First, by noticing the sensation of breath moving in past your nostrils or your lips if breathing through the mouth is more comfortable. And then back out, warmer breath out. And feel perhaps that cooler breath coming in. And a warmer breath rolling out. Now let's begin to follow the breath deeper. With that inhale, feeling the expansion through the belly. Exhale, that softening. In fact, if there's a bit of pillow pressing against the belly, what you might notice is that inhale it begins to expand into your waist and into your low back. And that exhale feels like a letting go, softening and settling. And continue to feel this gentle expansion with the in-breath. And the exhale, an invitation to soften and settle a little more with each breath. The inhale, soft and cool and deep. And the exhale, softer, warmer and slower. And let's rest here for another minute or two more. Feeling the breath. Expanding us with the inhale and softening with the exhale. Soft and deep. Soft and slow. If your mind begins to wander, that's okay. That's what minds do. Let's return to the journey of the breath for a little while longer. Soft, deep in breath. Softer, slower out breath. Let's make an offering of five or six more of these breaths to this pose.
as you complete those breaths, just notice if you feel ready to move. You can again always stay in these poses as long as you want. You could find your fingers and toes and give them a little wiggle. Walk your hands under your shoulders and gently push the floor away to bring you upright. Now we could simply move into this pose on the other side. Sometimes it's nice to bring a little movement into the body. So if you would like to return to that movement we did before, taking the feet wide, leaning into the hands, please feel free. Again, it's different for everyone. We all have different needs. If you would like to turn this again into a, a bit of a flowing twist, the knees fall to one side. We lift that opposite arm and reach it around. And slowly back. This can be the tiniest movement. And let's do this once more in either direction, if you so choose. And we'll meet back at center and we'll set this up on the other side. Now, we might have different needs on the other side, so it's okay if the setup is a little different. I'm going to bring those pillows to the other side, stacked and lengthwise. Yeah. I'm going to lean into them a little bit so I can bring my legs to the opposite end. Already, it might be nice to have a pillow between the knees, but that's different for everyone, or a blanket. And then bringing my hands to either side of those pillows and slowly lowering the chest and turning my head to face the same direction. Again, in this case, it might feel nice to bring a pillow under your head. It might be nice for a blanket under your forearm. Adjust that bottom hip. Again, check with the belly. Sometimes we actually want this firm against the belly. Sometimes we want a bit of space. Sometimes it takes a lot of effort to make ourselves comfortable, but it is worth it. It's great for the nervous system to feel the body at ease and supported. And then we can invite the breath to do its work as well. So continuing to wiggle around and find your comfort. Now and then closing your eyes and checking in and then noticing is there still some discomfort that we can address? And continuing to adjust for your comfort. And then once you feel ready to settle, perhaps once more closing your eyes. Breathing through your nose if you can. And feeling the sensation of air moving past your nostrils or past your lips. And cooler breath in. And warmer breath out. Cool, deep breath in. Warmer, slower breath out. Feeling the expansion of the abdomen, of the waist, the low back, lift the inhale, softening. Receive the inhale. Exhale, rolling out with no effort. And soft, cool, deep inhale. And 
softer, warmer, slower exhale. And can we simply experience the breath? for a few minutes more. We inhale, cool and deep. We exhale, warmer and slower. And we're feeling the body expand with the inhale. Softening and settling with each exhale. If your mind begins to wander, that's okay. Gently bring your mind and your awareness back to the experience of the breath. Rolling in. Soft and deep. Rolling out. Feeling the expansion of the body with the inhale. That soft settling of your body with the exhale. Let's make an offering of five or six more breaths to this point. Soft and deep. And softer and slower. And when you feel ready, perhaps wiggle your fingers and toes. Yawn. 
<sighs> begin to walk your hands under your shoulders and gently push the floor away. Moving nice and slow here. We are going to make our way to hands and knees. Again, the movement we do between the poses is totally optional. A little chance to prepare the body. As we move to hands and knees, in honor of comfort, feel free to place one of those blankets under your knees. And if the wrists are uncomfortable, weight bearing as such, you could bring those pillows under and bring your forearms to the pillows. That can be a great place to be. We'll move through a little bit of rounding and arching of the spine, um, what we call cat-cow in yoga language. And this can be the smallest bit of movement as we gently round and gently arch. And it might feel like a little tip of the pelvis forward and back. A little stretch through the back, a little stretch through the front. And this can be even a feeling of openness before stretch. Tiniest bit of movement, pressing down through those hands and knees. The eyes might be closed. We're finding an easy rhythm here. A few more if you choose. feel ready. Let's take a little peek at me. Uh, this pose uh, can be either a supported child pose or a supported prone position with the legs long. Um, in either case, sometimes the ankles don't love the tops of the feet resting on the mat like so. So it might be very nice to have the uh, little rolled blanket here where I'm resting the tops of my feet on it. And that can be a real game changer in terms of letting the ankles and feet relax. And then I'm going to show you a few options here. So it might be that we want to do a supported child pose. Again, we could use a blanket under the knees. Um, and we could also use a folded blanket at the top of the pillow to support the head more. So this is what it might look like. We might widen the knees enough um, that they're on either side of the pillow. And then we'll slowly lower down and we'll just notice what we need here. So we could turn our head to one side and then at the halfway point I could cue that you turn your head to the other side. Another great option is to get those pillows right under you. And then you could fold this blanket enough that it supports the forehead and you've got a little space for the head to hang so that the face is not pressing into anything and also that it doesn't, the neck doesn't have to turn so strongly to one side. So that's another great option. We've got those arms soft to the sides or wherever they feel they want to be. Now, sometimes this deeper knee bend is really uncomfortable and even having those thighs wide can be uncomfortable. So if you're in your happy place, stay where you are in child pose. If you want to see a slightly different option with the legs long, have a look here. So we're going to maintain that little rolled blanket here for the forehead and we'll slowly lower ourselves down onto those pillows. Yeah, and then we could rest the forehead here. Now, for some of us, having any compression to the breast tissue is going to be uncomfortable. And in that case, we could push the pillows further down and actually have the chest hang free. You might need to elevate the forehead a bit more. We want to make sure that the head and neck are at a comfortable angle. Just noticing if there's a place of comfort near here. And of course, the opposite could also be true, that the belly doesn't want a lot of pressure on it. And this is where maybe we do need to um, play a little bit with the pillows at a wider angle so that they're just under the chest and not the belly. So you can see how there's lots of options here for your comfort, but in this case, we actually might need, in this case, if the belly were hanging free, we might need 
more support under the thighs so that we don't feel like we're in a back bend here. And then maybe we could stack the fists across the forearms. So a few different options. For a lot of us, sleeping on our belly um, is not usually an option. So it's very interesting to find some support allowing us to lie face down. So again, whether that's a supported child pose or a more open, open leg pose here, let's find our most comfortable version. And what's lucky for you is you can press pause and keep playing here. Whatever you need, you've got time. And once you're comfortable, close your eyes, maybe breathing through your nose. And again, assessing your comfort. Sometimes it's easier to see if you're comfortable by closing your eyes and tuning in. So this is a lovely pose for beginning to invite some movement of the breath into the low back. So we'll begin there, noticing rather than the belly expanding with the in-breath, and that there's a, a bit of softening into the low back, inviting the breath into the back body. With each exhale, softening and settling through the back. Maybe feeling the entire back expand a bit. Maybe feeling that expansion into the waist and side ribs. And then each exhale, opportunity to soften and settle through those same parts. And still the inhale feels cool and soft and deep. The exhale warmer, softer, slower. Perhaps as we rest here for a few minutes more, we can explore and receive the gift of gravity. And we could start with the feet and just notice wherever the feet feel supported. Wherever the feet touch down, can we notice a quality of stillness and connection? That gravity prevents our floating away. Gravity invites this support from the ground up. Let's notice the stillness and connection where the feet touch down. And now let's move to the legs, wherever the legs touch down, wherever they feel support. 
We're noticing that stillness and connection where the legs make contact, fully supported. Stillness and connection. Now let's notice where the belly and the chest touch down. Feel the soft support beneath belly and chest. Notice stillness and connection. Now we notice wherever the arms and hands touch down, feeling supported, inviting that awareness of stillness and connection. You've reached halfway in this pose, so if you've turned your head to one side, gently turn your head to the other side. And let's start to notice where the head feels supported. It might be, again, through one side of the head. It might be the forehead. Fully supported. Tuning into that quality of stillness and connection. And again, let's find that stillness and connection supporting the head. hands, the arms, the chest and belly. The legs and feet. Feeling the front of your body fully supported. Receiving the gift of gravity, stillness, and connection. And so we can let go fully supported. As you rest here another minute or so, feeling the expansion of the in-breath. Settling the body with the exhale, with the out-breath. Inhale, soft and deep. Exhale, softer and slower.
And we'll make an offering of five or six more breaths to this When you feel ready, perhaps there's a wiggle to the fingers or toes, a yawn. Maybe you can walk your hands under your shoulders and gently lift yourself up off those pillows. If you'd like to return to that little bit of movement that we did before the pose, you're welcome to maybe forearms to pillow or hands to the mat. We'll gently round the spine, just as gently arching, moving the body into a place of openness just before stretch. more. Maybe the eyes are closed, moving so slow. And then slowly we're making your way out of tabletop position. We are going to move into our final pose, which is our final relaxation. And it could be set up similar to how we started the practice. So if it felt nice to have those pillows under your knees, let's stack them. If it felt nice to have a blanket or two under your head, let's go ahead and do that. If you're starting to feel a bit chilly, grabbing an extra blanket, a sweater, some socks, or using that second blanket over your body. Yeah. And we'll continue to make yourself comfortable. And again, the arms might be out at your sides. You might be resting on your belly or your chest or kind of midway. Continuing to wiggle around, finding your own comfort.
And eventually closing your eyes. And sometimes that helps you kind of feel from the inside out and maybe notice where you need to make some adjustments. Your comfort matters most of all in this practice. And perhaps once more we can notice the sensation of air moving in past our nostrils or lips. And then back out. Noticing the cooler breath in. And the warmer breath out. beginning to follow that breath in and feel your abdomen expand. And following that warmer breath out and the abdomen moves back down and in. Cool, deep in breath. Warmer, slower out breath. Once more, let's receive the gift of gravity. Tuning into that feeling of stillness and connection wherever our body touches down. Then we could start at the feet. And notice wherever the feet touch down. And that stillness and connection is a, a reminder that we can let go. And that we are held. Now let's move our awareness to our legs, wherever your legs touch down. Noticing the quality of stillness and connection and the gift of gravity. So we can let go. And notice where your buttocks and your back 
touch down. Noticing stillness and connection. Letting go. Notice where your arms and hands Touch down. Stillness and connection. Letting go. Notice where the back of your head touches down. Stillness and connection. Letting go. And feeling the whole body supported. Receiving the gift of gravity. Stillness and connection. Even as the breath rolls in. Cool and deep. Rolls out. Warmer and slower.
relax, make an offering of five or six more breaths to this pose. Perhaps each exhale a little longer than the last. If you so choose, you might bring a hand to the belly and a hand to the heart. You could notice the weight of your own giving hands against your body. And again, offer yourself some sweetness, a kind word, a prayer, an affirmation, just for you. Releasing those hands. So this is where I'd like to leave you. You're welcome to stay where you are as long as you choose. Eventually, maybe a wiggle to the fingers and toes, a turn to your head, a yawn, a stretch. Eventually rolling to your side and making your way into the rest of your day. If you have any questions or concerns, always feel free to reach out to us at the Everyday Counts program. Thank you so much for joining me and I hope to see you again soon.